Uh, welcome. This is Kirk Cameron. I'm here with my friends, Alex Kendrick and Stephen Kendrick and Kathy Brenzel from uh, National Day of Prayer Task Force. And we want to talk with you guys about this incredible new movie that is coming out to movie theaters. And we want a chance to pray with you at this culturally momentous time in our nation right now. The timing of this could not be more providential. And um, so let me, let me start by giving you a little background on this movie Life Mark that is coming out. Uh, it's based on a true story. And the way that the whole thing came about was a friend of mine sent me a link on my phone to watch a documentary, a short little film called I Lived on Parker Avenue. And this was all about a true story of an 18 year old girl who changed her mind on the abortion table and then gave birth to her child without telling anybody. And then she placed her child for adoption and didn't tell anyone thinking she'd probably never see him again. And then 19 years later, she reconnects with him thinking she, that he probably hates her guts. And he actually wants to tell her, thank you for giving me life and this beautiful family. I was, I was just destroyed by this story. It was so beautiful and emotional. And especially because I am an adoptive father of four children and my wife is an adopted child. And so this meant so much to me personally. I wanted to turn it into a movie, but I was not as experienced as my, uh, my friends, Alex and Stephen Kendrick. And so I called them and said, guys, am I crazy? What do you think? Would this make a good movie? And here we are only two weeks away from us producing this movie and acting in the movie together about to come in theaters on September 9th. So Alex and Steven, jump in. Uh, let's talk about Life Mark and why this is so important. And, you know, I remember that phone call, Kirk, when you called me and said, guys, you got to watch this. And when we did, man, did it grab our hearts. And it, what a beautiful story this is. So, um, you know, when we got to know the real people this is about, uh, Melissa Coles, who at the last second chose life, got off the abortion table and said, I'm letting this baby live and, and allowed David to be adopted uh, by uh, the Scottons. And they mm -hmm. raised him, loved him. And now he is making a huge difference himself in real life. And Melissa's out speaking about that, mm -hmm. that decision. And they are believers in Jesus Christ. And we are so grateful for their impact. So yes, we had to partner with Kirk again and make this movie. And we are so grateful. Kirk, as you, I mean, Kirk, you've adopted four of your six kids. Awesome. Steven, my brother, has adopted his daughter, Mia. So we believe in this ministry as well and can't wait to see what God does through life. Well, and beyond that, I think we're all discovering that God has a much bigger plan for this film than any of us anticipated because none of us knew that Roe v. Wade was about to be overturned and that this battle at the Supreme Court has now dropped down to 50 battles at every state capital. And now the church more than ever needs needs to rise up in prayer, yes. like 1 Timothy 2 says, to pray for those in authority over us, not only at the federal national level, but at the state level. And we need to be showing courage and clarity and compassion to everyone that's involved. And Life Mark does that. It shows the journey of not only the, the, the terrified teenage girl, but the infant growing up, the adopted parents, the whole journey and the perspective. And I think internationally, yeah. as other countries are watching America, how we respond to this, we are setting an example for them, and the church has a great opportunity yes. to overcome evil with good, to show love and compassion where a lot of hatred and division and darkness and death has been communicated in the past. And so we need to pray yes. big time right now for not only the movie, but our state Supreme Courts, for all that's going on. And then internationally, we're hoping this film will get translated and be distributed internationally because it could help change the hearts of other nations yes. concerning life life and adoption. Kathy, talk a little bit about, uh, about why you felt it was important to partner with, uh, with us here on Life Mark. Oh, well, uh, we at National Day of Prayer have worked with the Kendrick brothers on several of their projects, undergirding them pray in prayer and praying with them. And we are so excited because it's always a movie with a message and a mission. And so yes. it just makes sense for National Day of Prayer. We have 18,000 missionaries um, across the nation that day in and day out in their communities are living out, mobilizing prayer and, and acting in love. And this movie calls the church to act. 
we must be on this mission, just like Stephen was talking about. And so we want to come in with you all always um, and pray for you, pray with you, pray throughout um, the promoting of making sure that we're calling our theaters and saying, hey, uh, you're showing life, Mark, right? We, we want to rent out that theater. We want to be there on opening weekend. And so besides promoting it, though, most importantly, praying for it and praying through it, we know how important prayer is to the Kendrick brothers throughout these projects and, uh, and on every project. Yeah, a amen. You know, it's often been said that politics is downstream of culture. And by that, we, we, we understand that politics are important. Uh, they're critically important, but often people end up voting what's what's true in their hearts and what's true in their mind. And it's often the stories we tell that shape the hearts and minds of people, particularly our children. So uh, our work is not done, right? Our work is not done, done just because Roe versus Wade is gone. Now yeah. we have 50 battles in the States, like Stephen said. And I think it's so critical that we continue to tell powerful stories like the Kendricks always have. And Life Mark is one of those stories that can bring people to the table and say, wow, I never saw it from that perspective. I'm able right. to look at the whole perspective and say, this isn't just a, a crisis moment where we need to find a solution for one person. One decision can impact the lives of countless numbers of people. And there's lots of people who are involved here. So uh, this movie is critically important. And, and uh, just like a Supreme Court decision can go one way and then it can flip back the other way, uh, it can flip back the other way again if the hearts and the minds of the people are not rooted in biblical values. So um, it's critically important that people get out there and see and support this film. Absolutely. Guys, yeah, why don't we go ahead and pray? Yeah, yeah, I want to add this real quick, uh, Kurt. Um, earlier today, Stephen and I were able to talk to and do an interview with a gentleman in England who said they are now looking at their laws on abortion because of what America has done in overturning Roe versus Wade. And then he said, do you know that other countries are now looking at that law as well in their countries? Because America is still the most influential country on the face of the earth right now. Mm -hmm. And so what is the church and the people of God going to do in the most influential country on the face of the earth? If we can stand up and pray and unify and act on this with love and compassion, but truth, we can impact the world, not just our country. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's 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 right. Well, let's. Uh, we're 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 all we're all about prayer. So why don't we start? Um, Alex, would you lead us and 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 Stephen and Kathy, and then I'll I'll close us. Yes. Yeah, let's do it. Lord Jesus, we want to come to you acknowledging you, acknowledging you are our Savior. You are the Son of God. And Lord, we want to praise you and thank you for what you're already doing. And God, I thank you for the opportunity to even stand up and say, let's unify and let uh, under the, the banner of Jesus Christ, you created life, Lord. You give us the gift of life. And yes. Lord, in, in many <clears throat> respects, our country has not treasured it. Other countries have not treasured it. Lord, would you forgive us, Lord, and would you help us turn our hearts toward you, yes. our minds towards you in a way that honors and pleases you. And Lord, would you would you send out that call again, return to me. You say in Acts 3.19, repent and return that your sins may be wiped away and you may experience refreshing times in the presence of the Lord. Lord, we need your presence. Yes. So Lord, as our leaders, as our courts determine what to do, even in every state, God, would you send them advisors that want to honor you, advisors that will speak truth, people of influence that will say, consider this. Life mm -hmm. is precious. It is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is worth preserving and protecting. And Lord, all the, the thousands and thousands of couples that are wanting to adopt children, yes. Lord, that have been waiting for a long time and say, we're ready. We can't wait to adopt. Lord, would you make us all aware of the opportunity for ministry and preserving life? So Lord, we pray that you would do what only you can do. You would turn our hearts towards you yes. and you would do a miracle for our <clears throat> nation and other nations. Help us, help us take the mantle of this influence that you have given us and honor you with it in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes. 
And Father, in Jesus' name, in agreement, we pray that you would let the truth of life and the value of life, the value of the unborn, the value of adoption, uh, Lord, the value of the gospel to be able to heal hearts and bring forgiveness and transform lives and repair families. Lord, would you shine the truth of the gospel and the biblical design of sexuality in the family? Would you shine that among the nations, Lord, through your church? Lord, would you spread the truth and may it be like a bright light yes. at every state capital to yes. give clarity, to give compassion and understanding, to give courage to people. Lord, we just pray you would raise up warriors yes. of truth yes. and battle ambassadors of truth to proclaim the truth about life and lordship and the judgment that we will all be held accountable by mm. God for the decisions that we make ourselves and for the decisions that influence our culture around mm. us. So Lord, I pray you would bring a yes, fear please. of God into the hearts of every uh, legislator at every state level, every Supreme Court justice, Lord. We pray that pastors would rise up with courage and with clarity, that ministers, that believers, Lord, would you bring down the Hamans in our generation and raise up the Mordecais. Yes. Would you bring down the, the Vashtis and raise up the Esters, Lord, that will be ambassadors for life and yes. for deliverance. Lord, would you let America be a place that celebrates life and yes. celebrates motherhood and families yes. and celebrates your design? And Lord, would you let the gospel be utilized, Lord, at a greater degree as we show compassion for the unborn and compassion for women that have had abortions that are living with yes. guilt and shame right now and depression. Would you bring healing and restoration? Lord, use life mark. But Lord, we also pray that around the world that other countries mm. would be influenced and would you spread the gospel and this truth among the nations as well? Yes. Lord, we ask, Father, for you to give us the heart of Jesus, give us the mind of Christ, Give us the boldness of the Holy Spirit. Mm. And would you unify the body of Christ around your word and your truth? And Lord, would you do more than we can ask or imagine yes. for your glory and our generation? Lord, bring revival. Mm. Bring spiritual awakening, Lord. And we ask, Lord, for mercy yes. and grace and forgiveness now in Jesus' yes. name. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. And in Jesus' name, we continue to pray about the impact of life, Mark. Lord, that it would be a film used for healing, that people yes. would know and see the humility in this film, the transparency and authenticity in this film that comes from the heart, that this is not, not a film of hatred, but of great love, of great compassion, Lord, and that they would see that humility and that you would bring healing, Lord, as we are praying. Um, as they are sitting in theaters, as people watch that anything that has left the stain of guilt and shame on their hearts, Lord, that you would bring healing to that. Lord, mm. that uh, anyone who is sitting in a theater um, finding themselves in, a, in a, um, um, an unwanted pregnancy, Lord, that you would compel their hearts to let life live, that they mm. would know the heartbeat that beats within them that they would not just see it in this moment, but that they would see the lifetime, the friendships, uh, all of the experiences and memories and the life that you have authored that is living in them. Absolutely. And Lord, let them choose life. Lord, I pray that the church will rise up, that they will see this mission in this moment for such a time as this that you have given. Lord, uh, you put it on um, Kirk and these guys' hearts to start working on this movie in 2019. Mm -hmm. This was not something done in the last couple of weeks. And so, Lord, I pray that we would step into this moment as the church. We would step in in love. We would step in in solutions and that there would be open hearts, open arms, and open homes to yes. tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of children. Lord, uh, the pain of waiting and wanting a child. Mm -hmm that those prayers mm -hmm. would be answered and that homes would overflow with the love and laughter of children. I pray mm -hmm. that families yes. are multiplied across this nation and around the world. Lord, use this film to draw us to you, mm -hmm. that people mm -hmm. would come to faith, that people would come to you for forgiveness, that people would come to you for life and life more mm -hmm. abundant. 
We thank you. And we ask that theater doors would open, that managers would not be bullied into saying no to this movie, that they Mm. would know the heart of this movie, that our voices would cry out, that the church would cry out for this to be in theaters and that we would go and theaters would, would overflow on opening weekend and that we would leave with that message on mission. In Jesus' yes. beautiful name we pray. Yes. Mm. Amen. And, and Father, you, you have shown us over and over again, all throughout history, um, that you use the family of God, the army of compassion, every time to bring light to dark places, to bring heaven to earth. So God, let us not sit back and celebrate uh, a court ruling and then just look around as the culture continues to deteriorate. Don't let us just put our Mm. our, our faces in our hands and cry in our Chick-fil-A soup. Let us put feet to our faith and get out there and talk with people about all the good things that you are doing, about how uh, eyes are being opened and uh, the family of faith is waking up. God, bring us together in unity and rally us around truth and love and compassion. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord, that you've uh, decided to use us in your uh, mission uh, to reverse the curse to be the salt and light and um, to get back on mission of liberating planet earth. We love you and we pray in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Stephen, Alex, tell people how they can uh, get more information about LifeMark, how they can reserve their tickets, how they can take their small group in their church. Yep, so lifemarkmovie.com, lifemarkmovie.com. Type in your zip code. You can find out the theaters that are playing the movie in your area and the show times there. Uh, you can see all in, in you know, uh, details about the film, who's in it. Um, and then we have links to various ministries and organizations that can help with decisions on adoption or counseling or advice or healing. If you've yes. been through uh, uh, an abortion and, and you would like to talk to someone, we want to do everything we can to provide ministry and healing. So lifemarkmovie.com, we're loading that thing up. And so use it. And again, September 9th, if the movie does well, then it, they'll expand it and keep it in theaters longer, which which means more people can see it. So we encourage you, if you would go opening weekend, September 9th, 10th, 11th, that would help the ministry of the movie. And I would say we, we are so grateful for Kathy and the National Day of Prayer Committee, their whole task force, what they've done. Focus on the family has been an unbelievable support yes. of this film. They get it at so many levels. They're providing uh, follow-up counseling uh, for women that have had abortions and things in the past. They've also got family and adoption resources, Lifeline uh, Ministries with children, foster care. They have an international impact too. There's a lot of ministries that have rallied around this film and are gearing up to support it. So praise God for them. Yes. And let's just continue to pray and watch the Lord work. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys. Thank you, Kathy. Thank all of you who have joined us today, and, and those of you those of you who are praying together with us. And let's uh, let's just let's keep it going onward. Uh, we don't we not we're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. That's yes. right. And uh, there is so many good days to come. Amen. God bless you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, guys. Love y'all. Love you. Bye.